Hey Dexy, you ready to get pretty? Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. Today, what we're gonna do, well, we have been in quarantine for, I think, seven weeks now, and Dexter is an Australian Terrier, so they are hypoallergenic, and they have hair and not fur, so he doesn't shed, which is amazing, but his hair does grow, and it doesn't stop growing, just like a human's hair. Okay, bye. <laughs> so it has gotten very long, it is actually up in between his paws and covering his eyes, so today what I want to do is I want to give him a bath and I actually just bought some uh, clippers for his paws so that he can stop falling around. We have hardwood floors and wooden stairs and he has been falling up the stairs recently and getting in people's way because he can't see them out of his peripheral. So I want to go ahead and try my hand at grooming him <laughs> and if it ends up looking terrible that's okay because no one's going to see him. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start by giving him a bath. So he is all washed for his shampoo. I use the Monet's Children's line. They also have a pets line, but I before they came out with that, I got the children's line. So I've been using that until I run out of it. But so he's still quite wet. He doesn't exactly love baths. No. Come here. Uh, once he's all washed, then I gotta brush him out. He usually sits better than this. I swear he knows when cameras are on. Dexter, come here. We'll brush you out on the bed then. No. So, there is hair all over my legs. <laughs> so, I had a really difficult time trying to figure out how to film at an angle where you could even see what I was doing, but I found out that holding him like a baby, literally I had him like this, to just trim at his paws, and it took a while but his two front paws are looking a lot better like you can actually see like his pads versus these ones where you like can't it took I don't know probably 15 minutes to get both of those ones done but I found that this position he was actually like the most common and like let me do it but he's a dog sitting there for 15 minutes he got kind of sick of it so I'm gonna give him a little break before I try and do his hind legs but he's getting a little bit more dry I also have most of his face done so he can actually see <laughs> so I'm gonna let him run around for a little bit and then come back and try and do the rest <clears throat> I also just want to say <laughs> that I am in no way shape or form any type of licensed groomer 
I literally just bought these little like scissors that have like a, I don't know if you can see it, but they have like a little rounded tip so that like I wouldn't poke him. I looked up some videos to figure out what it was that works best and that's what most groomers said that they use for paws to get in between the little pads. Because that's the main problem that we were having, like, we think he's adorable, super fluffy, but we usually get him groomed super short so that we don't have to go to the groomers as often. But since groomers are all closed right now, especially in New York, uh, everything is closed for like a while. Some places have started opening to things like groomers and salons, but we have not. And it was just getting dangerous <laughs> for him to be going up and down the stairs. Um, and he also couldn't see. I also trimmed up around his face a little bit too, uh, just because he gets it so dirty and gross. So I tried to scrub it and brush it and then try and trim some of that off. Um, but we'll give him a little break and we'll come back and I'll try and film how I actually will do his hind legs. Okay, we're gonna try and do it up here where I think he is more comfortable. And then we can just kind of take his little paw and try that. There has to be a better way to do this. <laughs> Now my parents are watching a live stream in the great room, so it's pretty loud. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear any of it, but I'm going to wait probably until they're done with that <laughs> so that you can actually hear me and I don't have to turn off all the audio for this video. <laughs> Evidently, it would appear that the baby method worked best for his hind legs too. He actually sat for a while and I got the left hind leg done. But, of course, as soon as I like get him and get him in a position, the camera is just not at the right angle and I'm like, I don't want to move now, I like have him. So we have one paw left where we can try and maybe actually get some good footage. But, we'll see, because that was quite the ab workout. Ugh. Listen, he's a tiny dog, but he is all muscle. He weighs like, what is it Dex? I think 22 pounds? Work out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me try to groom my dog for the first time. It was really fun and I do think that when I have my own Australian Terrier, I will be grooming them more often because I do like the way that they look with longer hair and my parents like to cut it short. But it's definitely, I think, nice to know that I'm able to keep them safe <laughs> with their long hair because I was definitely just scared of him falling down the stairs and hurting himself or not being able to see, things like that. <laughs> If you guys want to see more content or my things with Dexter in the future, make sure to leave a comment down below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Come here, no. Right on the bed. <laughs> Hey guys, 